So I actually wanted to give you a basic understanding of graduate school in this video and talk to you about how does actually graduate school work and what are kind of the differences between undergrad programs or, or college as they're called in the States. So if you don't know me, I'm Professor Dave Maslach. I'm Associate Professor of Innovation Strategy and Entrepreneurship and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. There's so many people that help me out that I want to pay the favor for to help you out. By the way, if you don't know, this program or this reciprocity um, project started out with a um, software that I'm building. Go check it out. That's actually what the reciprocity is. The E is written with a three. It's an editing software where you can get, you know, we've got a, plagi a plagiarism checker editing from other people, um, you know, copy editing, um, all sorts of stuff. Um, you go check it out and see if you actually like it. I think it's pretty cool and we're continuing to build this out and make this better. Okay, so graduate school. You know, what is it that, that, that goes on in graduate school? So what it is, is really an extension. You can think of an extension after your um, undergraduate program. So in your undergraduate program, you're gonna be getting a solid base of courses that you can get. And then in your um, graduate school, what you're gonna be doing is doing a little bit more independent work. It's a lot more independent kind of research that you're gonna do. And there's two, um, there, there's two types. One of them is a master's program, and that is shorter, and they can be from a year to two years. And that's where you're gonna take a lot of different courses. Uh, you're probably going to seem overwhelmed. So first of all, the graduate courses, they are, um, you don't take as many, but each course is, is a lot more intense, um, if that makes sense, right? So you might, instead of taking, you know, um, five, six courses in your undergraduate program, you're probably going to take, you know, four, um, five tops uh, graduate school courses per semester because it's just going to be too intense. There's a lot of work that's involved and you're gonna be surprised in how intense it actually is and how much work you have to do. And, and for a master's program, it's gonna be almost all coursework where you're building up on courses. But then there might be like a four month to a year type research project that you do at the end, um, a thesis of some sort, and you put that together. And now the key difference between a PhD program and a master's program is that the PhD program is gonna emphasize theory a lot more and the, the sort of projects that you're working on is gonna be a lot bigger. Uh, where you your your goal is ultimately to publish this research in different areas, right? So that's a really big thing, um, is to focus on that. So then you go to a PhD program, which most PhD programs realistically, you know, if any PhD program says it's going to take three to four years, don't expect it. That's probably off. It's probably going to be more five to. Um, nine years in terms of doing a PhD program and where you're gonna, most people are probably gonna finish somewhere between the, the four and a half to, um, you know, five and a half year kind of um, area. It's just because it takes a lot of work. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna take two years of coursework again. It's probably gonna be different courses, but sometimes you can overlap with the master's program. And then you're gonna have to do some research where you spend a couple of years uh, doing research and investigating different things. So what is going on, you can see it's kind of like a, a stepping stone that you have, right? Where your undergraduate program is going to be a lot more focused on doing, you know, coursework and building up the sort of base, but then you, you build a little bit more on top of that, but it's going to be more of you doing your own independent work. And it's kind of, you could imagine it as more of a mentoring ship type um, process where at the end you're pretty independent and you can do your own work and that's the goal is to get to that point where you do your own work and you're able to explore in different areas by yourself as you're going through this different process and these these different courses and learning different things and you're gonna get more in depth and understanding of what the theoretical um, you know what what the theory is right so you can really see this with a undergraduate text. It's going to be, you know, here's these sort of smatterings of different ideas, and we're going to summarize these in the undergraduate text. But in a PhD program or, you know, a master's program, you're going to probably read all of the original texts. 
and you're going to see, you know, what did this person actually say? What did this person, what was their book? You're going to read their actual book and you're going to um, see what they actually said uh, without somebody sort of synthesizing what they've said. And then you are going to have to make your own independent judgment of what you think about that particular idea. I think that's really, really important. Now, there's, there's something else that, that has been going on in the last, say, 50 years is that their universities are very smart. Their businesses and the people that are running them are very smart. And so they figured out is that there's these professional programs that they could do versus research more oriented programs. So a lot of programs across the university and almost every major university are really going towards these professional programs and the research sort of side of things, you know, it's still really vitally important, absolutely important for universities. But there is a tendency to emphasize these professional programs, like a master's of nursing, for example, or an MBA in a business school like where I'm at. Um, you know, all of these different things are really geared towards in, um, getting you to go back into industry, getting you back into work. And so what you're going to be doing is, you know, reading similar stuff, doing a lot of the same coursework, but then the, the actual project that you're doing it is smaller. And then the ultimate goal is not to get you to do research at the end. So there's going to be less stress on that, um, stress on the fact that getting you to do research that is really good quality and focused on publishing these kind of things and more on here, take these courses, have a basic understanding like what everybody else has um, and, and, and then go and do something from that. And so MBA programs are really going that way. They're going um, definitely in that direction. Sometimes there's actually these professional doctorate or professional PhD programs that are going that way as well. And the reason is, is it's a revenue source. Um, they actually, they do provide value, by the way. They actually do provide a tremendous amount of value in terms of what you do and how you see the world at the end of it. Um, and so they tend to be a little bit more expensive. And they do, um, you know, any way that you define it, um, in terms of what that value looks like, they, they often do help you out in your career. So hopefully this answers your question in terms of, you know, how does graduate school work? Is that there is these kind of stepping stones that you have. And, um, you know, it's actually pretty fun when you're doing it, but it's really tough. And I'm not going to downplay that. Everybody that does graduate school is going to say that it's stinking tough, but they can get through it. And that's what the system is sort of designed to be like. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up, do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.